Okay. Hi, everybody. This is the new, the full moon reading for everyone. This is for everyone. Thursday, November 6th, tomorrow, is the morning new moon. It's called the morning new moon. And it's called that because November is a time when we mourn that which we have lost and vanished, what we no longer need in our lives, which is sometimes very hard to do. In December, we prepare and celebrate the coming of the light at Yule, Christmas. At this time, the wheel of the year, having faced and accepted death in its many forms, we understand that nature teaches us this lesson as we look about the frozen and barren earth. Under the earth, life is waiting for the warmth of the sun to warm it and cause it to grow. Yet it needs this time of rest before growing can occur. It's important to observe the earth at this time of year and learn its lessons. We all need to rest between growing cycles and allow seeds for our new cycle of life to, and prepare for growth. At this moon, full moon lesson, we invite and accept rest into our lives, rest by sleeping and taking it easy, in preparation for the return of the sun and growing cycle. Plan to work on ridding yourself of negative thoughts and vibrations. When we cleanse, we are replacing undesirable energy with desirable and positive energy. Anything can be cleansed, your house, your car, your office, your yard. It is important to be in the correct mindset to perform a cleansing. Always begin a cleansing by taking a few minutes, centered in a place of balance. Sit quietly, very quietly. Practice your breathing to replace any negativity. Give gratitude and thanks and feel the energy of love moving through your being. Say prayers, thanking God for everything in detail, good and bad, because he has, he has a solution for everything. Thank him for putting his light of protection around you, and then thank him for keeping any negative energy away from you and removing any negative energy and giving you the love of his protection so nothing negative can penetrate. He's carried us through, all of us, at one time or the other when we really needed it. God has always been there for us. Even though we might not like it, he has been there for us, the solution. Then on a piece of paper, write down the desired solution to replace what is being released. For example, if you were worried about finances, you would write lovingly, a lovingly release, I release my worrying concern about finances. There's a divine solution to this situation, and then you say what it is. Love, money, family. I accept and claim the divine solution in this situation now. In Jesus' name, amen. Another desired solution to replace what is being released. I am open to receive love, to heal the loss and bring in new relationships that are for my highest and my best good. And one of my very favorites is, I am grateful for the abundance and opportunity that flows easily and effortlessly to me, through me, through the divine action of God. What you are doing is releasing and clearing and then manifesting what you want to bring into, your, into you in the direction of God. We have a card reading here too I've done on the full moon. And this is wonderful. That's why I really wanted to put this on YouTube so you could all see it. It's, it's especially wanting you to balance and, and replace in your life anything that isn't good. Um, and it will come in a hurry. Even though you're resting, you'll feel the energy of what is good coming to you as long as you release the, the old, the negative. Um, this says anything goes for you. Try it. The little dog is nipping at your heel saying, try it, try it. And this is saying you'll be stronger. You'll be strong and God will give you his strength. And this is saying you do get what you, you do really get what you're looking for, what you want. She's naked in this card because she doesn't have to hide anymore. She's brought into her life what she wants. And of course, of course, the magician, we all know, pulls on your higher power, thanking God, giving him everything, and the solution will come. Thank you, everyone. I have a favor to ask everyone. If you would go, who has Facebook, if you would go to Accurate Leslie on, the, on Facebook and like the Accurate Leslie page. Thank you. Bye-bye.